Our next guest rose to fame on TikTok, where he uses his platform to educate his followers on indigenous Chichimeca culture and history while advocating for awareness of injustices past and present. His, his name is Juan Guerrero Maya. He's joining us right now. Juan, thanks for being here. Thank you so much. Very happy you guys decided to invite me for Native American Heritage Month. Of course. Very happy to have you. We know you are very popular on TikTok, and you have really been educating a lot of people. One of your videos has more than 5 million views, where you go from jeans and a t-shirt to your regalia, your traditional attire, which you're wearing right now. So why don't we start off with that? Why don't you tell us a little bit about what's the significance of that? How do you feel every time you put that on? So whenever I put on my regalia, I feel very, very powerful. There's a lot of deep meaning into what we are wearing right now. For example, the penacho I'm wearing right now, whenever we dance to our traditional music, we're transmitting energy over to our heads, and that energy is going over to our feathers. So for that reason, there's a lot of significance behind our regalia. Um, you can see the markings in my face where I'm embodying the spirits of my great mother, my great great grandmother, who was a curandera. She was a healer. I know that TikTok maybe typically is associated with short dances or entertainment. Obviously, this is much deeper for you. What led you to start using TikTok to try to get your message out? So what led me to start using TikTok was the misconceptions that are often found within our own communities. I think a lot of our communities, a lot of our Latino brothers often think that they're totally disconnected from their indigenous roots. And I started TikTok for that exact reason. I wanted to let people know that they are not disconnected from their roots. If anything, our indigenous roots are very much engraved in what we know today as Mexican culture. So for that reason, I feel the necessity to educate people and let them know that our ancestors are still looking up up on us and they are very, very proud of what we're doing. Let's talk about those misconceptions that you brought up because we want to use this platform too to do the same thing. Is there something that you encounter frequently that you maybe would like to correct or educate people on while we have you here? Yes, correct. So a lot of these, there's this idea going around that we Mexicans don't necessarily belong in certain territories, but in our native communities, we don't necessarily believe in this idea of physical borders. Our brothers are anywhere from the southern part of the Americas to the highest point of the Americas. So we're all a big family. We're all a big native family. Um, as Mexicans are also Native, we are also Native Americans, we are Indigenous people, and we're here to celebrate that part of us. And I know that your family, too, has been featured in a lot of your videos. How special has it been to get to have them be a part of this with you? It's been extremely special. My sister uh, married a man of Purepecha descent, and she still dresses in her traditional attire. It's a region located right in the center of Mexico in the state of Michoacan. So not only do I embrace my Chichimeca descent, but I also feature other people from other tribes, from other nations, involving in this occasion my sister and her, my niece, who are part of the Purepecha community. You've talked about your ties to Mexico. We know a lot of your content has talked about atrocities outside of North America, outside of what's happened to indigenous people in the United States or in Canada. What can we do to try to raise more awareness and put that spotlight on those people as well? If anything, the best ways one could be an ally is by sharing the content of Native TikTokers, supporting, supporting Native TikTokers, um, supporting the issues that we face as Native communities, as communities as a whole, because a lot of the issues we often talk about within our own uh, groups affect the population, the great majority of the population. The water that's being contaminated in northern parts of the U.S. also affects people down in the South and every other part of the U.S. So I think it's important for us to um, talk about these and celebrate each other. Well, and obviously your heritage is pretty important to you. In this process where you've been sharing so much about where you come from, what makes you, uh, what is really makes you, I guess I could leave it right at that. Have you learned anything about your own heritage that you were surprised by? 
Um, it was extremely surprising. I think it's been a spiritual journey, if anything. I've always celebrated my culture. My parents have engraved um, our traditions ever since we were children, ever since I can remember. So if anything, it's been a spiritual step, step by step. And right now I'm more to the point where I'm looking forward to a bigger awakening um, as Indigenous people, we are connected to spirits, to Mother Earth, and that's what I mean by this awakening that I'm hoping will come very, very soon. I know a lot of people appreciate you shining a light on your culture, Juan. We appreciate your time. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.